men. They are all the same. You, stupid hairband boy with your long hair and your eyeliner with all your girlfriends that you could get away with it. Ugh. And then you with your stupid CPAP machine keeping me up at night. And then you, the worst of them all, left me for a man. Hey, 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 Nurse Presley, uh, uh, what's going on in here? Oh, nothing. I just uh, found out that my boyfriend is cheating on me. I looked on Facebook and Instagram and eBay and it's pretty tragic. Well, it looks like we're working on a little therapy session here, huh? What's, what's, what's up with all this? Oh no, I was just practicing for my date tonight. Uh, uh, hey, uh, somebody's at the door. Hey, come on in, our, our nurse is giving away free stress tests today. Uh, 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 uh. Dr. Sangrenary. Oh my God, I can't believe you finally get to meet me. Uh, you've been waiting your whole life for this moment. Uh, uh, nurse, nurse, who is this guy? And more importantly, how do I get rid of him? Uh, I have no idea who he is, but he kind of smells like Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, Here, take my hammer. Uh, uh, uh. Dr. Sagittary, uh, I'm Melvin, Melvin Fatburger. I'm your biggest fan. I watched every episode of Creature Feature for the past five years, and I have every single one archived on, on DVR, VHS, and eight millimeter film. Oh, and you, I know you from anywhere. You're Nurse Presley. No, no, um, I'm Nurse Cassie. I live in Mississippi now. You should probably go there, uh, like right now. Uh, oh, look, look, Doc, uh, look. Uh, I could call you Doc. We're good friends now, right? No, no, no. Uh, I have so much Dr. Sangrenary memorabilia that my mom let me build an addition onto my base of bedroom. Here, look. Oh my gosh, look at all that creature feature crap. No, more like, <clears throat> look at all that disgusting filth. Oh, well, you'll have to excuse a mess. Normally, my mom does the cleaning once a month, but her arthritis is, gets so bad this year that it makes it hard for her to hold that can of Lemon Pledge. Uh, li listen, buddy, uh, I I'm really glad that you, you stopped by and everything, but, uh, you know, we, we got a show to do, and you're cutting into my first cut in. Oh, my God. Are the cameras, are they rolling right now? Am I on the show? Uh, this is a dream come true. I can't believe I'm a part of the Creature Feature Show. Uh, do, do, I, do I get a wave goodbye at the end? Uh, um, no, you, you, uh, you misunderstood. You know, you're not part of the cast or anything, okay? So you might, you might as well just grab all your stuff and, and vamoose out of my lab. To Mississippi. Uh, uh, but, but, but wait, Doc, before I go, uh, could you autograph some things for me? And uh, Can I get a selfie with you? My friends. Uh online, they will never believe ah. that I'm ah. a cast member ah. here on ah. Creature ah. Fe Feature. Ah. Ah. Good Lord. Uh, all right, well, may maybe I'll just sign one or two things here, okay? But then I really need you to go, all right? Uh, uh, look, I, I got these things. Here is your famous record. Dr. Sangrenary Sings the Blues. Oh, look, he's got it on, on 45 and, and, and a record album, too. Hey, you know what? I, I don't ever recall a, a cutting a record album. So uh, anyway, uh, what, do you, yeah. what do you want me to uh, sign on? Oh, uh, go ahead, sign it. Sign it to my very good and personal friend, what? Melvin. Melvin, oh. All right, well, here you go. Thank uh, you. Bye-bye. Uh, oh, I have more. What I, I? I have the world's most complete collection of Dr. Sangrenary memorabilia. So you can kiss this, Fred Gorham. Oh, I, I, I have, I also have this, the ultra rare Dr. Sangrenary action figure. Uh, uh, well, it, it, it has, it had the Kung Fu grip and, and the soft spot. What? 
the hell is a sauce box? Sign it. I, Sign I, it. I, I, don't, I don't know. I'm, I don't. I don't remember ever having an action figure. Um, you know who's making this stuff? Uh, and, make, and 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 make, make it out to my mother. Uh, she's well, a big well, fan of the show. Well, what's uh, what's your uh, mother's well, name? Well, her. Ah, uh, her name is um uh, uh Melvin Melvin Fatberg. Huh? Oh, okay. Here you go. Thank you. Oh, and and here, here, sign this. What's what? Oh, come on! You got to be kidding yeah. me! All right, oh, there you oh, go. And then this and this too. Sign that one. What? Hey, uh, hey! That's, that's you know it. who's who's making all this junk? Cause they're obviously making oh. a lot of money off of me, and, and and I ain't getting it. Oh, and this, sign that. Uh, okay. Uh, let's see. All right, there you go. Thanks. And this, sign that one. And, and hey, wait a minute. Okay, there. Oh, hey, oh. You know, how much this, do you have? Uh, what? Well, uh, hey, this looks familiar. Oh, uh, why yes. That that is the shoe you wore on your very first episode, back in 2012. Yeah, it it, smells like it. Uh, sign it to Melvin. May you walk in my footsteps. What? Three hours later. Oh yeah. No, that's. And these. Ow, this God. is the Doctor Sanguinary bubblegum card set. Pants. I have the complete set. I'm going to need you to autograph all 52 of those. What? Yes, Fred Gorm, his set's incomplete. He only has 48 of them. <laughs> All right, Doc, as fun as this has been, I gotta go get ready for my date. If I end up in jail tonight, it was a success. Uh, all right, nurse, I'll see you later. And uh, as for you, here, get all this crap and get the hell out of my lab. But, Doc, I couldn't do that. What? We're, we're good friends now. We're gonna hang out tonight. You and me, the Doc. A couple of famous TV guys. Uh, a night on the town. No, no, <laughs> yeah. no, oh, no, no! Get the hell out of my lab! Uh, Go! And uh, take all your crap with you! Uh, I'll be waiting for you tonight by your car! <laughs> oh, good grief. How do I get myself into these messes? I, I knew I should have become a sportscaster. Ah! Uh, Tell you what, uh, why don't we get into tonight's movie while, uh, uh hey, Igor, uh, oh, I think we need to build a moat around the, uh, the old house tonight. Um, gosh, I'd, maybe I should get an order of protection or something. And why, why is my foot so cold? Oh, lovely. Ah, uh, tell you what, Igor, roll the movie. <laughs> Creature feature. You know, if you're just tuning in right now, uh, we had a little problem. We had a crazed psychopathic fan uh, come on the show, and, and oh boy, this one's a doozy. Uh, I've seen a lot of crazy ones, but this one takes the cake. And uh, Igor and I were trying to hunker down in the lab here and, and get everything uh, all secure and stuff because I don't want this nutbag back in my lab. He's hey, crazy. Doc. Hey, Doc, can I bring some of my friends in to play video games? Pretty please. Uh, I suppose so, but, uh, you know, they've got to be in, uh, or get out of here before curfew, and whatever you do, do not let that guy in who's got a white shirt and red suspenders on. Yeah, kind of like that. Ah! Yeah, yeah sorry, Doc, he kind of got me. He set these yummies out as a trap, and as I was eating them, he snuck up behind me. It's a real coyote-type move. Shut up, Rex. Bad dog. Bad dog. Yeah. Uh, see everybody, here he is, my good friend, Dr. Sanguinary! Ooh. Ah. Uh, who, who are all these people and, 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 and what are they doing in my lab? Oh, well, uh, silly me, uh, I, did I ever tell you? I'm a president of the Dr. Sanguinary fan club. What? Yes, I am also the vice president. The secretary, the treasurer, and the speaker of the house, and and and, and these people—they're—they're they're 
They're members of your fan club. Yeah, uh, yeah it, except for me, I'm literally being held against my will at gunpoint, you know. Just a technicality is all. Hey, then I tell you to shut up, Rex. Bad dog, bad dog. All right, all right, everybody. Today is fan appreciation day. Huh? Yes. Autographs with Doc are $20. <laughs> if you want a photo, it's going to be 40 J Just go ahead and, and give Rex your money and your cell phone if you want a picture taken. All right, everybody. Single file line here. No fighting. Who's going to be up first to meet my friend and, and co-star, Dr. Sanguinary? Co-star? Me, me, me. Here, here's my $60. I want an autograph and a picture. Uh, okay. Hi, Mr. Sanguinary. My name's Chet, and I'm a huge fan of your show. It's so good to finally meet you. Oh, uh, well, that, that's nice. Uh, why don't you get a picture there, and, I, and, and I'll autograph it for you. Thank right. you. Smile. You know, it, it's really nice to actually be able to meet a normal fan just once. You know, all right, let's see, two, chat, doctor, sanguinary. All right, let's, we're going to take a picture here. Just smile yeah, and yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think he broke it. Yeah. All right. <laughs> oh, this is such a good picture. Thank you so much. But wait a minute. What is this? Huh? Well, uh, it's, it's my autograph. I just, you know, signed the picture for you and stuff. An autograph? An autograph? Look, that's like a barely legible G with a line and it, just an S with some squiggles. Who in the hell taught you how to do your signature? William Shatner? Ooh. I paid $20 for this. Oh, hell nah. Now, pick up the Sharpie and sign it like somebody that graduated from grammar school. Uh, all right, all right, all right, all right. No, don't you, don't you. All right, look, see? D R period S A N. G U I N A R Y. The Look at that. The I. The what? I. Dot the motherfucking I. Ah, okay, well, then don't shoot. Don't shoot. Look, there. Picture perfect. This is museum quality. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. It was such an honor to meet you. I cannot wait to see the show this week. Have a great day. Bye. Come on, go on. All right. Wow. Who's next to meet the doctor? Hi. Ah. <laughs> so you're Dr. Sam Canary? Oh, uh, it's. Awfully warm in here. Um, actually, uh, uh, the, 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 the name is, uh, who, uh, uh, San Gu Guineri, but, uh, you know, I, I, I'm having problems, like, under, mm, understanding you. Mwah, mwah. Huh. Here, hold this. Blech. So, it's $20, I hear, and $40 for pictures. Uh, I, 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 I ain't charging nothing. It's, it's that guy over there. Oh, I see. So what's his cut? Maybe I can get a better deal from him than the other guy I got. Uh, lady, it's 20 bucks for Doc to sign something, and it's 40 bucks for to take pictures. Fine, fine. It's a deal. It's been a slow night anyway. Hey, hey. Uh -huh. All right. So I got my $60. Fine, fine. So let's take your marker. Do whatever you want to me, and give your phone to your dog over here, and he can do what, take pictures and do whatever he wants. So come on, honey. I ain't got all night. Whoa, I, I, I can't wait to tell my kids that one, if I ever have any kids. All right, who's next? Come on, Grandma. Come up here. It's taken forever. Oh, I am so delighted to see you again after all these years. Huh? You don't remember me, do you? Um, uh, I, I, I'm sorry, but I don't. Maybe, maybe you can refresh my memory for me. It was 1928. I was 20 years old, and my aunt took me to New York City. New York City? to see a vaudeville show. And you were there with your famous act where you saw this woman in half and then you can't get it back together and there's blood all over the place. <laughs> it was wonderful. Uh, lady, Dr. Sanguinary's only been on TV since 2012, so I mean, come on. Bad dog, bad dog, Rex. You didn't let me finish. So... I snuck backstage because I just had to meet you. I was so impressed with your talent. 
on the stage and I was love struck. And you you signed my you signed my program and I keep it here near my heart to this day. See? There it is. That can't possibly be Doc. No way. Well, well a, 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 actually, she, she's right, you know. Uh, for for a good 30 years, I used to run the vaudeville circuit. Started in the 1920s, you know, and I used to run the Pantages Theater, and then the Orpheum. And I played every vaudeville house from New York City all the way to San Francisco and back. Yep. Oh, those were the days, kids. You know, I worked with all the greats. I, I worked with Al Jolson and, and, and George Jessel, and I even got to open for the Marx Brothers. You invited me to cocktails after the show. Uh -huh. Cocktail. And then we made wild, passionate love <coughs> under the lights of Broadway. Uh. But you, you had a life on the road, and you were gone the next day. Thank goodness. Off to fame and fortune in Cleveland. So, after all these years, I just wanted to share some of these pictures with you. Pictures? Huh? See, this this is our daughter, Zelda. Daughter yeah. Zelda. And and these, these are our grandchildren. Grandkids. No, and these, you... look at these are our great grandkids. Ah, wow. <laughs> Agreed. And, franchises. Hey, well, wait a minute. Uh, you know, uh, I hate, hate to burst your bubble and stuff, but maybe that night that you spent, you know, at the, the Algonquin Hotel there in New York City, you know, drinking all that bathtub gin and stuff, I think it clouded your uh, your your vision and your memory because uh, uh, I hate to break it to you, but the, the, these kids and stuff, it, no, it wasn't me that you slept with. Then who the hell did I sleep with? Well, uh, looking at these pictures, it's it's pretty obvious that you spent a wonderful night of passion with Eddie Cantor. Uh, tough break, kid. <laughs> All right, well, Grandma, come on. Let's go. Here, have a sanguinary bobblehead. Now go on. Come on. Now get the hell out of my lab. Every morning, go. every evening, thinks she got fun. <laughs> All right. <laughs> And you, uh, I'm going to need you to sign one more thing for me. No, no, no more autographs. No more yes. autographs. No. Sign it. No. Sign it. What? What is this? Well, Doc, you're going to legally adopt me. What? Yeah, that way I could take over your show. So let's get back in tonight's movie. And when we return, we'll have more fun with... The Sun of Sanguinary. Ah! <laughs> yeah! Igor, no, no. roll that movie. Ah, no, no. And Doc, if you're good, we'll, we'll play some clips from your old show. <laughs> good evening, everybody, and welcome to Creature Feature with the Sun of Sanguinary. No. Yes. No. Oh, yes! Uh, uh, Stars me, the son of Sanguinary, uh, and my, my co-host, uh, the, 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 the Doctor Sanguinary. Co-host? Uh, hey, hey, cameraman, zoom, zoom in, zoom in. Closer, closer, closer. All right. Call the police. <laughs> oh, Doc, you silly sidekick, you. We don't need the police. <laughs> We, we don't need them to protect us from all your fans. You know why? Because I've sealed all the doors shut here in your lab, down here deep inside the Mall of the Bluffs. Bluffs, Bluffs, Bluffs. And besides, I, I also got us a lifetime supply of shrimp-flavored ramen noodles. Ugh. We have everything we ever need no, right here. No, no, no. Hey, hey. All right, Mr. Big Shot. Well, since this is your show now, uh, uh, what are you gonna do? Well, as you already know, I have the largest collection of Dr. Sanguinary memorabilia in the whole world. So you can kiss this, Fred Gorm. Yeah, get a piece of that. I have everything, all except for one item. And, and what would that be? Well, it's something I've always desired ever since I first saw Creature Feature for the first time five years ago. And it is my very own autographed Dr. Sanguinary! 
Huh? Yes, here, take what? this Sharpie. Go ahead, sign yourself. And, and when you're done with that, I'm gonna take plastic sandwich wrap and I'm gonna wrap you up in it to, to keep you in mint condition. And so that way, when I put you on my shelf, you're not gonna collect dust. Oh, oh dear. Uh, well, folks, I, I, I guess this is the end. Uh, I'll be hermetically sealed in, in plastic wrap and, and I'll just be a dried up, shriveled corpse on some nerd's display case. Oh, no, 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 Doc, not at all. Because, see, b before I wrap you in the, in the, in the sandwich wrap, uh -huh. I'm going to cover you in mayonnaise. Ugh. That way you'll stay moist and fresh forever. Ah, uh, oh, woe is me. Woe is me. Oh, my goodness, who locked this door? I can't get in. What is going on? Ugh. You use the power drill in the saw, yeah. You gotta break through the, the welded seal. She can't break through that. <sighs> Seriously. <laughs> Who in the world welded the door shut? Oh, oh, well, hey, it's a, it's a Nurse Presley. So good to see you here. <laughs> I told you, I'm Nurse Cassie. I'm in Mississippi. Shouldn't you be there visiting me now, you dorkwad? Hey, hey, uh, 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 Nurse Presley. Um, um, I'm a little tied up at the moment. Uh, uh, and I was uh, kind of wondering if you might be able to uh, help me out of this little predicament. Uh. <laughs> I'm sorry, folks. I'm afraid it's too late. I've already submitted the, the new name for the show to the, the cable listing services. <laughs> no! It takes like weeks for that damn thing to go through. Uh, oh, by the way, uh, Nurse Presley, uh, how was your date with the uh, ex-boyfriend? Oh, well, it was a lovely evening. He put his hands on me, so we got into some role-playing and, uh -huh. oh. you know. Oh, dear. Hey, uh, Nurse Presley, you know, I, I'd really appreciate it if, uh, you know, you might be able to help me out of this uh, little predicament here. Uh, yeah. Ah. No, there's nothing that can be done now. <laughs> it's my show. My show, Doc. Hey, moron. Is that yours? Oh, why? I didn't leave. I... I... You know, I, I always tell you kids there's a reason why you should eat your vegetables, but you know what? This is a case where we're playing with our food first. Uh, uh, uh. All right. Well, uh, well, this is great. So it uh, looks like uh, I, I got my show back. That's it. It's been a tough night. I hate all men. I'm going home. Well, kids, uh, uh, I guess, I guess I got my old lab back and stuff, and, and boy, I, I can't wait to ask somebody get me out of these darn things so I can get the show back on. Hey, Doc, how's it going? Uh, yeah, uh, um, hey, uh, uh, Larry, uh, guys, uh, uh, hello, any, anybody, Igor? Anybody? Oh, come on, don't turn off the lights, for Pete's sake. All right, well, hey, Igor! Just roll a movie. RX2347969B. Hi, kids, and we've got some snakes here for you, as we usually do twice a year, and April's just around the corner, so that means the Reptile Breeders Expo is going to be on the way. So we've got Jim over here and, and Glenn over there and, and some people in between, and we're going to share some snakes with you and talk about the Reptile Breeders Expo. Who's going to start here? I will. Um, the Reptile Breeders Expo is Sunday, April 30th, 2017, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. at the Scott Conference Center. It's in Exarvin Village, and this is a new location for us. Mm. And it's 6450 Pine Street in <laughs> Omaha, Nebraska. Now, what kind of things can folks see over there at the Reptile Breeders Expo? Well, reptiles, amphibians that are captive bred. We have snakes. We may have frogs, um, lizards, different types of lizards, and spiders. Spiders. Ooh, spiders. spiders. Yes. And scorpions mm -hmm. and centipedes hmm. and all kinds of things. Sometimes some insects, um, feeder <laughs> insects, feeder insects uh, for your animals, feeder rats and mice that are dead frozen, rats and mice. 
Well, everybody needs a place to go buy a good rat sickle, I guess. <laughs> right, and all kinds of accessories, all kinds of accessories for your animals. Well, we're usually over there, and it's a pretty fun show, and if you're somebody who's interested in, you know, getting a reptile or amphibian or a creepy crawly bug or something for, for a companion animal, then this is the place to go check out, because the, the people there, they know what they're, they're dealing with, and they know what they're talking about, and... Uh, hi, Snake. And, all right, well, why don't we go through some of the critters here. So, uh, Glenn, who do you have over here? I have a female sun glow boa. She's about three years old. And uh, how big will this snake get? It could get, it's a female, it could get up to eight foot. Uh, males are usually about six foot. Now, now boas are pr the pretty, the, the standard model of snake for most uh, pet enthusiasts, right? It's, it's the largest you can keep in Omaha legally. All righty. And then, uh, uh, just out of curiosity, the, the coloration on this one, is this... Uh, this is an albino mixed with a hypogene uh, that gives it the red and yellow color. Mm-hmm, very interesting. All righty, now, who do we have here, ma'am? Uh, my name is Mary, and I have a, um, a pied ball python and also um, a killer bee. These are both females. Uh, they're also called royal pythons or child pythons. They don't get very big. Um, the biggest they can possibly get is like six feet. And then we have my little guy here with the rest of the family. What, what's your name, buddy? Uh, Jayton. All right, well, what do you got there, buddy? Um, this little one is a hatchling. He's a super ball python. Uh, and he would probably go about three to five feet. Uh -huh. And they're both males. This is a blue-eyed Lucy. It's called oh, an ivory. It's called a blue-eyed Lucy because um, it has blue eyes, but it may look like it have black eyes. But if you zoom in closely, it has blue eyes. Now, how old are those two little critters you got there? This one is probably about a month um, old. Really? Three months. Three months? Yeah, yeah about. And mm. this one is probably about a year right. almost. Wow, we so they grow up pretty quick, huh? Yep. All right, and then uh, you've got Mr. Hissy over here. Or is it Miss Hissy? Uh, uh, it's a mister. <laughs> uh, this is a coastal carpet python. Um, of course, this has been captive bred for many generations. This is wild color, normal color. And originally, its ancestors came from Australia. Oh. So, yeah. No, good good day, mate. <laughs> <laughs> right. now, now, what's Kelsey got crawling all over her there? This is a corn snake. And this is pretty much a wild color. Originally, they come from the southern United States. And as far as I know, these were the first snakes to be bred in captivity. And now there's all these other snakes that are bred in captivity. All right, and then who do we have here? Last but not least. Yes, I'm Jennifer, and I have a Kenyan sand boa. So this is probably one of the smaller boas that you're going to see out there. You say Kenyan, is that Kenyan, like from, from Kenya? Okay, so uh, that's Africa. in, all right, I was going to um, say, is that like in Detroit or something, <laughs> one of the suburbs? <laughs> she's full grown, and I believe she's probably about six or seven years wow. old. Wow, so. and that's natural coloring, this, right? She is, this is the natural color for these guys, yes. Now that snake seems a little interesting because, just because of the shape of the head. Yes. Um, like snakes here, like this one here, they've got more of a angle or arrowhead yes. shape to them, and this one seems a little... Yes, she doesn't have a neck. Yes. <laughs> so, so, pretty much. She just has a body from hmm. to nose to tip. Very interesting. You know, once you go to these uh, reptile shows, you, you start noticing all this stuff just from a distance. So it's, it's a lot of fun. So once again, we've got the Reptile Breeders Expo. And that's Sunday, April 30th. Mark your calendars. And it's at the new location, Scott Conference Center, right? right? Right, Scott Conference Center, Exarbon Village. All right. New so, location. So yes. that's 6450 Pine Street. Mm -hmm. And uh, what's your guys' uh, web address there? We'll put it at the bottom of the screen. Nebherp.org. So go to nebherp.org. You can learn more about the organization and what they do and get all the instructions you need to come on out to the Reptile Expo and maybe get yourself a new friend. Well, boys and girls, ah, that's all the fun we've got for you tonight here at the Creature Feature Lab. So uh, uh, I sure hope you had fun with us. And, and here's Dr. Sanguinary and cast and crew wishing you a, a very good night. And I, I hope you have a, a nightmare with the monster of your choice. And we'll see you again real soon. <laughs>
moment. Many potatoes were harmed in the making of this episode.